The boat behind me is the CLB 65 and it really is a boat that really does punch above its weight in terms of volume, facilities, accommodation and I think, uh, I think you're really going to be surprised at just how much CL have been able to pack into this 65B. Uh, it is of course the baby sister of the CB range which starts at the, uh, the 65, there's a 72 and 80 and I believe a soon to be 88 but uh, why don't we step on board and have a look at uh, all areas of this great looking yacht. One of the things you notice immediately about the CLB 65 is just how beamy it is. Uh, in fact, this uh, 65 has the same beam as its 72 uh, bigger sister, and you really do notice it. It's a, a six meter beam or a, a 19 or nearly 20 foot beam, and it absolutely feels voluminous when you're inside. Um, there's a lot to show you here. Um, we'll pop back into here uh, later, which is uh, crew cabin and access to the engines. But where I want to start is we're gonna go all the way to the flybridge and this is where you do really do notice that extra beam because the size of this flybridge for a 65 foot boat is like to be honest it, it's actually quite surprising i was on a 72 foot uh, sports yacht this morning and this actually i would say is uh, every bit as big so if we come right to the back you can see here we've got the bimini poles on so we've got a lot of shade here which on a day like today you really appreciate and we've got this fantastic l-shaped lounge and uh and and like a coffee table here and i really like um the way that cl have done a lot of the designs here you'll notice that when we walk through um not everything is kind of symmetrical or uniform in sp in uh, in design and shape but i actually quite like that i think it's quite contemporary it's a little bit different and uh, i think it adds to the overall appeal of the yacht so this is a beautiful space at the aft of the flybridge drink holders. It's well serviced by this big L-shaped uh, wet bar where we've got under here, he says with confidence, uh, I think that's like a, uh, oh, I think that's a, a grill. I'm gonna pop that back down. That'll be an electric grill. Underneath here will be some storage like that. Lots of, lots of storage, which you can never have too much of. This is, oops, a very, very large fridge. And under here we'll have more storage for all your covers, which you need, of course. There's a sink there. But that's a fantastic place to start to be able to entertain your guests. But it doesn't stop there. If we come forward a little bit further, we've got an, another enormous seating space. This big C-shaped seating space. Again, you can see the lovely design of these asymmetrical, kind of irregular shaped uh, little tables, which I, I really, really like. And that sits you perfectly next to the helm. So this is a fantastic socializing space. You can come and enjoy being on this beautiful flybridge. Um, the helm itself, we've got two very large, they look to me to be probably 18 inch Garmin multifunction displays. Uh, we've got bow thrusters. Uh, we've got the joystick uh, control there as well as the throttles and that's fantastic because we are sort of set over to the starboard side so it does give you fantastic visibility right down the entire length of this boat so to bring this into the marina would be an absolute dream with that joystick um, fantastic big double um, helm seat uh, and we do have this kind of automotive type uh, toggle system here for some of the controls right at your fingertip but as an entertaining space i mean this is fantastic three quarters of this is under the hard top um, but i mean what a space on a 65 foot yacht i mean it would be hard to find an entertaining space in a flybridge uh, bigger than this in fact i, I think you'd struggle um, let's go down because as i said there is a lot to show you and it's hard to believe we're on a 65 foot yacht to be honest um, the aft cockpit is again a really fantastic size. You can see that shape that I was mentioning before uh, and the way that they've designed the tables, which is not sort of symmetrical uh, or angular. I really like it. I think it's very contemporary looking, very modern. 
I think that's a really beautiful shape. And it's one less sharp edge, of course, to, uh, to catch yourself on as you're walking around the boat. Uh, we've got, I believe we're gonna find a wing station here, which of course is very important. We're coming into berth the boat and we're serviced in the aft cockpit by another serving area. So this one under here will have more storage. I'm guessing you could configure this. Uh, you could have some uh, refrigeration under there uh, if you wanted to, uh, to do that. But it connects through uh, to the main deck salon through this uh, opening rear window. And then of course what that gives us is beautiful seamless connection from the aft galley right through to the aft cockpit. And let me just say, again, for a 65 foot boat, this is particularly well uh, accommodated. Well, here we go. This is the way you want to open up every, every boat's fridge, isn't it? Uh, this is a, a full size, almost domestic size, uh, fridge freezer with plenty of refrigeration. Uh, on this side, we've got a uh, two drawer uh, dishwasher and sometimes you might find just a one drawer dishwasher. Uh, it's a really well proportioned galley with overhead storage, uh, the four burner hob, microwave convection there. Really nice and I like the way that the sink's forward facing because uh, as you come on board, what you see is you've got really got an unobstructed view from this half cockpit all the way through to the bow of the boat, which you don't always have. Uh, and then on the starboard side, here we've got a uh, dining table, L-shaped seating. Of course, this can leaf up uh, if you want to have uh, slightly uh, less space. And there's a clever little storage space under here as well where you can tuck away things like TV remote controls and the like, like that. Very, very clever. Um, we'll spin around and then we've got this quite interesting area here where it's almost like an additional bar area or additional serving area because we have a wine drinks cooler here uh, in front of us oops and that one's not opening for me and this is where we can control all of the AV uh, through here but this allows you to have another serving area in this configuration but it's also where the boat's TV rises up from. So if I'm sitting over here in this lounging area, I've got this beautiful view over here where I can be watching television if I, if I want. So again, this is a really clever design by, by CL. Uh, one you just don't see on every 65 foot yacht, um, that's for sure. And then on the left hand side, we've got a really, really big socializing space, um, again, the replication of that irregular uh, shaped dining table, which I think is really, really appealing, like that. And I like the, the way in which we've got a lot of natural light pouring in here uh, through the big windows. Um, the helm, uh, basic, it's a replication of the helm that we had on the flybridge. The large gum multifunction displays, again, the joystick control, which, which we're uh, a fan of, bow thrusters, autopilots, everything that you'd need. Here, a little flip up uh, footrest if you want to uh, sit up, or I'm, I'm actually in the standing position right now, and that's a really great view out uh, from the standing position. But if you, uh, if you spin around and consider just the sheer size and scale, of the internal cell and it's it's actually very very impressive for a, a 65 foot hull amazing but let's take a look at the accommodation so i think you'll be equally uh, impressed with the level of accommodation that we've got on board uh, and it starts with this vip forward cabin and i really like a couple of things about this um, i think the neutral tones work exceptionally well. It's got a very contemporary feel, a very modern feel. Um, I like the way in which we've got these little pop-up storage bins here with the little leather pulls. I think they're particularly nice. Places for you to charge your phones and etc. Lots of shelving. And I like the way in which 
not all of the surfaces are squared off, that you've got those lovely kind of organic curves in the designs. It just has a, a very, very uh, contemporary feel um, and something that you probably can't really pick up on the camera, but this, this carpet feels particularly nice underfoot. And I love the way in which we've got a lot of ambient lighting uh, in here as well, as well as natural light. Um, there's a, uh, of course, a locker um, over here in front. It's quite a nice kind of design. And then through, through here, we've got access to one of the three heads. So this particular one serves the VIP cabin, as you would guess. We've got a large uh, shower bath, toilet there, and this very, very nice vanity. In fact, if you can see, I don't know if you can spot that, but that's got almost like a, uh, like a bowl shape, very organic looking, very, very, uh, uh, it's got a very kind of elevated feel and look to it. Very, very nice. Storage underneath, that is. Let's see if there's some storage behind here. Yes, there, there is. There you go. There I am in the mirror. But this has a very elevated feel um, and it's, it's, it's quite appealing. Um, let's move, oh, and I should, uh, I should mention the AV equipment. And then there's also this little vanity area, which has a stool underneath it. So you can pop anything here. This could be for, uh, this could be for makeup. This looks like a place where you could even pop your watch collection. If you wanted to do that, if you're, uh, I think uh, a horologist, I think is the correct term for someone who loves watches, that could go in there. But that feels lovely the way that's finished off in that sort of walnut and leather finish. Beautiful. Um, there's other cabins on this uh, level. Of course, that, that serves as the day head as well as the ensuite to the VIP. Um, down through here, we've got one of the um, two oops, guest cabins. Now this one is set up as two singles. Um, there's a really generous amount of headspace. In fact, I'm about five foot ten, and I reckon we've got about a six foot six or six foot seven headroom above me, and it doesn't dip down at all. I'm stepping into this cabin, and there's no. Uh, this doesn't dip down at all. And again, it's got that beautiful contemporary light, um, airy feel, ambient lighting. There's an opening section here. Obviously, it's air-conditioned, AV. This would be a very, very comfortable uh, cabin for um, two people. Two adults could comfortably um, be down here, but you know, maybe for your children or grandchildren, I think they'd be very comfortable. And that is serviced by this bathroom. So very similar to uh, what we saw in the uh, VIP stateroom. Again, that beautiful bowl design, really taken with that. It's kind of like an egg, some sort of egg shape. Um, really nice countertops, storage. Again, large bathroom, very, very nice. Okay, there's a lot more to show you. So we've seen the VIP, we've seen the two heads. If we step down here, there's a couple of things to see. One is, whoops, one is laundry facility. So we've got the washer, washer and dryer on our way down. And then forward from that is the full beam master. And it, it is, this is again where you notice the extra beam uh, of this B65 because this does feel like it belongs in a much bigger boat, you know, probably like a 70 or a 72 foot boat. Um, there's so much room around the bed for us to walk around. Uh, again, you've got one of these fantastic kind of dressing areas here with the, uh, the backlit mirror. Again, we've got more. Oh, there's a safe. It's fantastic. And lots and lots Lots and lots of places for you to tuck boat brochures <laughs> or your clothes, <laughs> I'd imagine. You'd be using these for your clothes. Um, 
But I like these kind of little features here. Uh, there's a term for these, uh, these little metal rails that you have on cabotry and boats. Someone will tell me what it is in the comments. Um, but I like the way that that's done to hold all of your things in. You could you know, decorate that with books or whatever you want. And you can see it's replicated on this side. But it is a big master. It is a really big owner's cabin. Lots of wardrobe space. You can see that folds out. That's a good two and a half feet wide. It's, it's, it's very, very big. That's an access, um, access to some of the ship's systems, electricals, probably. And then again, another locker. So this entire width is either full or three quarter height uh, locker. So that's probably about six feet. So no shortage of places to tuck your things away if you're the owner of this boat and when you're coming away you're going to be in good shape. Um, AV equipment, Fusion AV and the ensuite. You've got a, a small like recess for the toilet to your left and that does kind of open up the whole ensuite and we've got uh, his and hers basins, beautiful ambient lighting, let me see, one of these will be, yep, one of these or both of these will be storage. I'm gonna guess both of them, yep, both of them are. That's clever, isn't it, the way in which that swivels out but you've got the, the recessed lighting strips into those mirrors. That's really clever, I haven't seen that a lot. Um, big shower with uh, a rainfall option uh, as well as the wall mounted wand option. Uh, and a little bench with a little teak bench in there, which is very handy. So all in all, it's a, uh, a terrific owner's cabin. And if you were coming away to spend any sort of time on board this yacht, you're gonna be very, very, very comfortable. Okay, there's still a little bit more to show you. I wanna show you the, uh, the optional crew cabin and the engines and down into the belly of the boat. So just to the left is the uh, crew cabin. So obviously it's for one crew, it's a 65 foot boat, so you're probably not gonna have two crew on board. Uh, but we've got, we've got some storage in there, small hanging locker, uh, ventilation, uh, it's well lit. And then just forward of the bed is shower and bar, shower and, uh, and toilet and vanity set up. So, you know, for someone who's gonna come on board for a number of days or a week or so and skip the boat for you, um, they're gonna be quite comfortable. But what you're probably interested to see is what makes this boat go. And when I step down into this uh, engine room, I'm actually standing full height. <laughs> so, again, just another surprise of how roomy this uh, B65 is. Um, so she's fitted with a pair of Volvo Penta uh, D13s. Uh, they're IPS drives, and so you're getting about 800 horsepower uh, out of both of those. And that's gonna give us you know, a top speed of probably in the high 20s, 27, 26, but you'd be cruising pretty comfortably around 20, 21, 22 knots uh, without much difficulty. Um, generator, over here, uh, engine filtration, all the uh, electronics over there. Uh, we've got uh, automatic fire systems. Uh, fuel filtration. It really is an emergency axe. Everybody needs one of those. Uh, it really is a very, very spacious, very well laid out uh, engine room. In fact, there's even space here for you to do some, um, like a workbench if you like. So again, you know, it's, it's the boat that really does punch above its weight. This is the sort of engine room you'd expect to find in probably a 72 or 75 foot yacht. Uh, here we are in a 65 footer and it feels absolutely spacious. Uh, that ladder gives you access uh, straight up into the main deck. So it gives you two ways out. Uh, we won't go there. We'll go back up into the main salon and we'll, we'll wrap up. So that is the CL Yachts B65 
this really is the uh, 65 footer that punches above its weight in terms of space, in terms of facilities, in terms of quality. I think you'd be hard pressed finding another 65 footer that offers you as much as this does. Um, thank you to Seal Yachts for giving us access to this today. Really appreciated uh, meeting Fiona and Martin from Seal Yachts. Martin, of course, being one of the eight uh, brothers that uh, own and run the business. Fantastic to meet you and really uh, impressed with the B65. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, leave a comment uh, and a like. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you all next week on another video. Bye for now.